Do I need GoPros? Does everybody have as much trouble with GoPros as I do? Alright folks, hope you can hear me okay. So, this is uh, part one of mods for that. The Jakai mods, upgrades, fancy bolt and fancy bits on if you like. Um, I've got a few things to do to it, so I'll do it over a series of videos. So this will be, let's say, part one. Um, so let me show you what I'm doing today, if I can find them. Is these coils, coil packs. Elder coil packs. So these are from uh, 848, the Ducati 848. Um, so they should have the same plugs. Um, I'll put a link in the description or on the comments, but basically what it is, there's, a, there's an issue with the 821s where some of them, not all of them, but it's happened to quite a few, is that the the coils give out like spikes, voltage spikes, the original Beru, Beru, however you pronounce it, coils give out voltage spikes and what can happen is it can fry basically the dash and the ECU which gets expensive. Ducati have done a, a, a technical or a recall, not so much a recall but a, a, a quick fix where they put a choke on it, like a, a ferrite choke I think it is. and. Um, that stops, but that apparently that only saves you the dash and folk have had that done and still been frying their ECUs so the fix, some guy, in a Vietnamese guy found found what was causing the issue and found the fix so what a lot of people do is instead of is instead of getting, these these are off a of Ducati 848 um, but a lot of people use the ones off the Aprilia, the RSV4 or the Milli uh, basically they're the same, um, like I say I'll put a link um, it's not happened to all, and obviously this bike's a 2015, and it's never happened to it, so, you know, but, you know, a, 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 what, 100 quid, 100 quid on a set of coils, versus, on a set of second-hand coils, versus if, if I do have the issue, then, uh, you know, replacing the dash, and the, the clocks, and the ECU, you know, uh, where the bike being as old as it is, and I very much doubt Ducati Thailand would honour, honour, honour it if it was to happen to me. So I'm looking at it as cheap insurance. The guys that have done it have had no issues. Um, there's been a few that had the issue with the old coils, got the new ECU, got the new dash, put the new coils or the the elder coil packs in, and never had an issue since. So yeah, I'm doing it as a as a just in case because uh, you never know. And let's say I'd rather spend a hundred quid on a set of second hand coils now than possibly a couple of grand on a new ECU and set of clocks in a month, year, two years down the line. Righty, so excuse the sweat, it's uh, probably about 35, 40 degrees in this bloody workshop today and nearly 100% humidity. I've got the little fan going over there but it doesn't do much good, I need a bigger one. So anyway, aye, so I've got a pull at the bits. Um, first things first is the seat. It's quite simple. I think there's not a lot to come off of this. The seat comes off. Somehow. Hold on. There we go. Seat off. And it's just a case of unbolting lots of, lots of stuff. So basically there is this one and this one. They've, these have got to come off. Um, possibly these side panels, I'm not sure, maybe not, them ones, them ones and then there's some, there's like one, two, three there same on the other side, that takes the side panels off and then the tank, unfortunately then this top's got to come off and then the tank has got to come out so that'll mean this coming off a wee bit of work, I don't know, you can, you can get to one coil there which would probably be easy enough to do by just taking the side panel off and then, <clears throat> but the second one is kind of right in there under the tank, so I think, yeah, yeah, tank's going to have to come off, for sure. I need it off anyway, because one of the other things I'm doing to the bike will require the tank off, so. Anyway, I'm going to get this going, get everything ripped up, I'll set you up, I've got the other little camera going there. I'll put on a time lapse while I pull this off, if there's anything that comes up that uh, seems a bit untoward or different, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. 
Right, I'll speak to you again once this thing is in bits. We are doing this, these little shoulder, shoulder bolts. Just watch so you don't lose the little plastic washer when you're taking the plastics off. Right, three bolts, four mil, I think they are, yeah, four, no, three. Three? Yeah, three, two fours at the side. Now I think this just sort of slides back and off or something. Oh, I forgot one. Forgot one, that's why. Forgot one. There's one down in here as well. Hmm. Okay, it's got a key there. Put them somewhere safe so they don't get all bloody scratched up. Right, same for the other side. Right, so now I've got to take this top cover off. So that's just a 212, I think. And it will come off. Yeah. So I take this off. Just one, two, and then the fuel cap. Off. Bit of pressure in there. Uh, yeah. Right, and then there's another two there by the look of it. Smaller ones. Try not to drop them in the fuel tank. Would be good. No, I'll put you back down. I'll take them out. That's for sure. If I don't, they'll end up in the fuel tank. Them out. Ah, shoot, just lift off. Sort of, yeah, like so. Easy. Easy. Put the fuel cap on. Tank. So, I think, like you say, the tank is 2 4. Can't see. There. Five, we guess one at the other side. Six, and then I think under here, because this is a fuel pump, so that's got to come off. That's the cover for the fuel pump. Oh, one there, seven fuel pump, and then disconnect the fuel pump. I think that's it. So seven bolts, eight possibly. Oh. And look, I never even noticed them. Little washers sitting under there, two of each, under that plastic. Just notice them now. Right, I'll take the fuel tank off. <laughs> I'll give you a quick look under here. So, uh, three bolts, three nuts. These three little nuts. There's one, two, and there's a third one at the back there. And then this just sort of hangs down on the, the cable there. It's like connected to that cable, so it just hangs there. Uh, and then. I guess it's unplug these buggers. So there's one, squeeze and pull, I think. It's easily the way with them, yep. You're gonna get a wee bit of fuel coming out, normal. So there's, that's the fuel line off from the fuel from the pump. And then I guess this is the plug for the level. There we go, and that should be it. Hopefully, 
hopefully the tank should come out. Finally, it's catching on the seat block. This is the little thing here. So what you also need is this hose that's kind of it's the fuel line hose. It's kind of clipped on the bottom. And that should be it. Oh, that was more of a struggle than expected. This might be a bit of a nightmare, but this big washer sits. So you've got that big bolt that goes in under the back seat or just above the wheel so that goes in that's like on top between the tank and the plastic underneath so something to be aware of right so let's have a look now that the tank is off that was a bit more of a struggle than i thought um so you kind of it's easier if you take them off yeah so you can lift the front and pull it forward but what it was, it was catching on this. This is the seat seat lock mechanism. It was just catching on there, which was stopping it. You need to just move the ECU up, unhook it, move it up out of the way. And that washer I just mentioned sits on there, and the bolt comes in from underneath. And um, it's the fuel line that you need to unclip. So there is one coil pack, which runs to that plug there, so it's easy enough. Um, so that's that's basically what I had to take the tank off for to get into that because uh, you know, there's just no way you couldn't there's not enough room when the tank's on it sits hard up so you even trying to squeeze in there with a with an allen key you would never get it so that one and then obviously the other one up the front here and an L twin there and that cable runs there to to that's the cable from it there so from there 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 and that runs to there so that one you could do without without taking it off no problem but yeah you definitely need to take it off for that one plus the fact i need into there as well later on i'm just thinking that i may have to take the air box off but we'll see see how we get on that's for another video right anyway so i'm gonna whip these off uh should be simple enough just unclip this and then see if the ones I bought are actually the right plugs. How do these unclip? Just like so. Right, so that bit stays. That bit obviously doesn't. It obviously goes, so I'll snip that tire up. Hold on. Yeah, look the same. Look the same. Right, I'll put these out. I should have got some new plugs while I was in here and stuck some new plugs in, but uh, well, I didn't, so I won't, I won't be. There we go, simple enough. One more, missed one. 
Let's tie that. Get that out of the way. So that is the original coils. So they're Beiru, Beiru coil part number 3801145B. I think, and I'm changing them with elder coils, like I say, these are from an 848, and it's basically the same part number, 380, well, 380-10144B, 10144B, there's the other one, same, yeah, 101380, if you can see that, 380-10144B, and that's elder coil packs, and the originals are Beiru and the 380 Focus 10145B So that's it, simple Really? So I'll stick this one in there So, screw it down. Let's make it snug. Not gonna go daft on it. Snug enough. Right now, are the plugs the same? Let's check. Look like it. Look to be the same to me. So plug that into there. Like so. And then that slides. And that doesn't slide on there. I'll just get a tie wrap, tie wrap that, tidy up the cable. And then do the same at the front. And then that's it. Coil parks are done. Simple. Not for getting the tank off, but a wee 10 minutes. 10 minutes of struggling and sweating because of this heat. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Anyway, you get to see it all. Right, get this front one disconnected. And uh, get it. the new one in, and then it'll be right with you. You see that, that little tab there, that just hooks, there's a bit on the frame and that just hooks in. I've never seen it to begin with. Let me just that one out, this part number is the same, 380-10145B, that's the Beiru one. I'll stick in the, the uh, elder one. There we go, that's it, bar sticking a couple of cable ties on, which I have to do, a couple of cable ties on there, and then say what, 20 minutes, to put the tank, 20 minutes, half an hour, what's that taking me, I've been recording for 54, 55 minutes now, so what, an hour, say, say even it takes an hour to put everything back together again, maybe an hour to put it all back together at the most, um, I'm not putting it back together just yet because I've got a few other things I'm away to do but certainly so that's it one elder coil pack all I've got to do is cable tie that there set a couple of cable ties on there just there so there was one there and there was one there you can see the original marks that is the front one done what I have noticed I don't know if you can see that but these are, I bought these second hand off and it was like a chip out of that one probably for the reason there but I do want to get an engine guard hopefully that doesn't cause issues but I suppose I'll find out soon enough can you see that little chip just there yeah. eBay specials 
supposedly working when they moved as they told to tell you. But they all do. Yeah, so that done. <coughs> Quite a cable run here. That original back on and then it clips on the frame in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then plugs in. So that's that one basically done. Like I say, a couple of cable ties. Tank back on, basically the reverse of taking it off. So fit it back in. Uh, bolt on fuel lead fuel fuel pump on hose for the fuel pump cable electric supply for the fuel pump um, breather back on for all the bolts the brace shift the ECU back to its proper position and then plastics back on but for me like I say I've got more to do which you will see in another video so uh, hopefully it's been of help to some of you, maybe not, um, watching my sweaty mess. Uh, but hey, a challenge used to come out here and work in this heat and humidity, you'll be the same. Uh, like I say, I will put up the, I put a link to the Hyperstrata forum, or the post on the Hyperstrata forum, all about changing out the coils on the 821s, uh, the Hyperstrata and the Hypermotard. Um, and if I can find it, uh, I will also stick a link to the guy's YouTube video where he just removes the plastics in the tank. Um, if I can find it, I'll do that. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Um, I hope it was helpful in some way. If any is a plan on doing this, let's say I am no mechanic. Look, as you'll see, see, I am uh, professionally trained by the University of YouTube. So uh, if you do uh, like it, Give it a thumbs up and a sub and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one, which for you guys will be in a wee while. About a week probably after this one. Maybe three days a week. I don't know if I'm going to do one a week or two a week. Um, but for me, I'm away to crack on with that now. Um, right. Thanks for watching, folks. Catch you later. See ya. Bye. Later that day.